Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make this video nice, quick, or easy, simple, whatever adjective you want to call it for easy. All right, we're gonna be talking about Tartaglia's artifact, weapon, talent, all of his things. Just a total build guide only, and I'm just gonna get straight into it. So if you do enjoy this type of content, consider liking this video, so subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much. For your recent support guys it really means a lot to me this is my free to play account this account has zero dollars put into it i legitimately did not spend anything on this um i don't know if i don't know if we can go to the shop to show you guys but yeah no welcome no outfit none of these did not spend a penny on this account so here is my tartaglia he is pretty much my main on this account. Um, he's an awesome character. I love this character a lot. And he's running the Skyward Harp currently. Obviously, I could go for the Polar Star. Hopefully, Copium, Copium, whatever it is. I could go for it, but I'm not going, I'm not going to do that. I already have the Skyward Harp. I am content. So we have his artifacts here his artifacts are pretty nice running the heart of depth set and i have constellation one on him with the talents being at three nine and eight obviously still need to get this to nine but we have time we have time all right so first things first he is level 80 out of 90 getting him to 90 won't make much of a difference for him um but it, i i I mean, might as well just get him to 80 out of 90 for that extra hydro damage bonus. Pretty easy, pretty simple. His weapons are very abundant. You can get any weapon, any type of bow on him. He will perform very well. For example, I have the Skyward Harp on him as his 5 star currently. He can also run the Thundering Pulse, which is absolutely incredible on him. He can run the new Polar Star, incredible on him. And the Skyward Harp is also decent. Alright, so his 4 star weapon pool is actually pretty big. Um, you can run the Blackleaf Warbow if you want some extra crit damage. You can run the Hamiyumi Bow. This is a free to play option that is available for everyone. You can also get the Alley Hunter. However, I haven't seen the Alley Hunter at any of the Alley weapons in a really long time. So, if you do have this, you could use it. It's not the best, but you can. Uh, you could use the Stringless for an ultimate type build, where you just use his burst for extreme amount of damage. Do not use the Favonius, do not use the Sacrificial Bow. Alright, uh, the three star options, you can go with the Slingshot, being at, you know, the crit rate being at 23%, but that's pretty much it. This down here is not affected when he's in his stance mode. That's all I wanted to say. You could also use the Sharpshooters though for crit damage, but won't do much of a difference. Not that good. Alright. Those are his weapons here. Obviously, there are other four-star weapons that you could use, such as the infamous Rust. The Rust is probably his best four-star option, in my personal opinion, other than the Hamiyumi Bow. It's incredible. It's pretty much made for him. The Rust is really, really good on him. So if you have the Rust, make sure you get that thing to R5. Pretty good weapon on him in general and works optimally. All right, we're going to go to his artifacts. He can run two sets. Well, I guess you could say three sets. For example, he can run the Heart of, of Depth set. This set is made for Tartaglia. If you're going to have Tartaglia at all, have him on the Heart of Depth set. This is made for him. Increases charge attacks and gives you Hydro Damage bonus. This is the best four-piece set, in my personal opinion. Obviously, you could go with the Shimanawa set, but the Shimanawa set has this weird thing where you can't do that ultimate that many times, even though he has, a, you know, I think it's 60, his ultimate. Yeah, 60. Um, the Shimanawa set is good, but this set gives that nice hydro damage bonus, and he does scale off that. He does get hydro damage bonus in his ascension. So getting extra hydro damage bonus is really, really nice, especially his elemental skill stance is entirely, entirely elemental damage. So all in all, pretty good. 
um i would run a crit rate mask on him if you have a crit rate or crit damage bow such as the black cliff so i myself am running this crit rate mask because it has a crit damage of 32.6 percent this a like that is really big so that's why i'm still running this that's why his crit damage is a little lower than i wanted it to be but really 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 good either way and his other stuff also has some crit rate this one has hydro damage bonus um this one's an unfortunate piece really because it all went to defense defense and once into energy recharge very unlucky very very unlucky um yeah i would run attack stands easy the feather obviously it's attack flat hp all right that's pretty much it Constellation C1 does pretty much nothing, so do not even mind seeing this. <laughs> All right, and his talents. Obviously, his talents. I wouldn't recommend putting anything into his normal attack until you get to like level six, maybe. Then you stop. Um, I didn't put any more because I don't really use it at all. That's why his elemental skill. Put it all into here, and the elemental burst as well. This is big. The elemental burst damage is really 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 strong so if you want to do an alt build it's perfect he's really powerful here all in all pretty good build i wish my defense was a little lower my attack was a little bit higher but that's okay but yeah his you can build tartaglia real easy all right just have a four star weapon on him that has the hamiyumi bow he will perform incredibly okay have the hamiyumi bow have the four piece heart of depth set while you're farming the heart of depth set you can get a cryo set the blizzard slayer so it is a two for one deal for you there very easy to build them now i know a lot of you guys might have questions like um isn't the shimano stronger is the heart of depth stronger which one is stronger look the shimano will have a stronger amount or a larger amount of damage being done for like I don't know, a few more seconds, that's pretty much it. But the Heart of Depth is consistent, it will always be consistent. Um, obviously, both will do 15 seconds, but this also gives you Hydro Damage Bonus, which is pretty nice. Now I'm going to show you guys my stats. My stats are pretty decent here, 78, 152, with a 90.4 on Hydro Damage Bonus. Very cool. Um, currently, I'm running the best team in the game. <laughs> personal opinion, personal opinion. Um, I'm running the Tartaglia, Kaza, Zhang Ling, and Bennett team. Very cool. Tartaglia is the coolest character in the game. Um, I don't know why he had this many reruns. I don't know why he had two reruns, but it is what it is. Um, his banner is not that great. I would not recommend summoning on this banner whatsoever. But if you do want Tartaglia, he is awesome. I love this character. He carried me throughout the game, to be fair. And uh, yeah, had loads of fun with them. Easy to build. Very easy to build. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Guys, thank you so much for the support on my channel recently. Past few weeks, past few months. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel if you did enjoy it. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.